Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Computer Hobbyist. Today I'm going to talk about how you can run Doom on your M1 Macintosh. Actually, you can run it on pretty much anything running Mac OS with this. First thing you're going to need is DOSBox so you can play old DOS games on your Mac. So just go to DOSBox.com and when you get there, click on Downloads and then click on Download Now and it will download it for you. Next thing you're going to need is a shareware version of doom you can get that at doomworld.com uh get the shareware version and put it in whatever folder you want i, I just put them in a folder called dos box inside of let me show you it here this is inside of my documents direct directory let me show you how to run dos box now because it's not it's not obvious how to run it so after you've put the executable from the dmg into your applications folder just click on dos box and this will come up the most important thing in this is intro intro gives you info on different things you want to do so i want to know how to mount my drive to this so i'll type in intro mount and here it says how to do it so I'll do mount c documents slash dos box and now it's mounted my uh, drive as a virtual C drive. So to switch to the C drive, just go to C colon. And remember you're in DOS now, you're not in XNU or anything, so you don't type LS to see what's in the directory, you type DIR. All right, so the one I want is Doombox, so CD space Doombox, and do a directory to see what's in there. And we want to run doom.bat. So just type in Doom. All right, you may want this full screen. To make it full screen, you'll do Alt-Enter on a Macintosh. All right, so here you go. Open the dead and choose a nightmare. And my joystick's working here, but I had to set it up to do so. I'll show you how to do that in a minute, but... All right, let's set up the joystick now. So we need to get out of DOS box and go back in. So let's go back to Alt-Enter. All right, let's close DOS box now. And let's go back in. So as you see up here, if you want to activate the key mapper, which is what you use to map your joystick to the keys, you'd press Control F1, but you're using a Macintosh, meaning that Control F1 is owned by the operating system. So the only way to use Control F1 is you have to enter full screen mode and then you can use it. So go to Alt Enter to get back into the full screen mode. And now you'll press Control and then you have to press Function and then F1. Control function F1. All right. How this works is Doom has keyboard commands for every movement, so you're going to map those to a joystick so you can use them on a joystick. So to move forward, you press the up arrow. So we'll click the up arrow and then click add. And now on our joystick, we'll press up and then uh, press save. And you'll do the rest with all the other joystick movements. And then, for example, like Alt allows you to strafe. So let's go to Alt here. And we'll go Add and press the second joystick button to map it to that. There you go. So basically you do that for all the keyboard mappings you want to do on the joystick. And then click Save and Exit when you're done. And that's basically it. 
I've been using DOSBox to play a bunch of DOS games now on my M1 Mac. Another one I'm playing right now is Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness, an awesome uh, game from the 486 days and so forth. Th thanks for watching and have a good evening.